Yeah. On my right, that is where the uh, police have uh, put that, they've actually put uh, that uh, particular uh, uh, lorry there, and uh, you can see they are making sure that um, the movement towards the Supreme Court is actually controlled. That is, of course, uh, motorists here now, they are being forced to make some uh, U-turn because you cannot go beyond uh, my right. That is, uh, of course, a communication that came from uh, the, registrar, the chief registrar of the judiciary, Anne Amadi, who said that they had to do this just to ensure that they control the crowds ahead of that uh, pre-trial hearing which kicks off. Therefore, all motorists are now being forced, for those ones that are coming uh, down um, um, our Bera Street, they are being forced either to make U-turns or now have to proceed on Mamangina before uh, joining the seat hallway. Whereas on my right, uh, the tight security that has been uh, thrown around just to ensure that they control crowds. We've had the statement from uh, ODM. Of course, they are calling upon their supporters that tomorrow Sunday they have to come and uh, uh, conduct prayers outside the adjacent or rather the precincts to the Supreme Court. Of course, yesterday Nairobi Police Commander Jafet Kome outlawed that and said they will not allow. However, ODM statement signed by the Executive Director Odorongwen says that uh, days of actually seeking consent or being granted uh, permission by the police to do such gatherings are long gone. And therefore, he said, under this dispensation, all they need is to notify the police. And that informs perhaps why the police, they've uh, put a very tight security here just to ensure that uh, uh, tomorrow they have to be limited movement. And uh, adjacent to my right is the city hall uh, uh, Nakumat that is still operational. Some people are still uh, are passing. We're not so sure whether that will be the position as the day progresses because as it approaches seven o'clock is where we will actually expect that particular uh, situation to be heightened in terms of uh, the security that will be uh, thrown around here. And um, uh, right at the entrance to the Supreme Court, of course, we have that uh, famous step of, uh, uh, that usually is cited at the scene of crime that usually you will have to uh, see when uh, they put that tape, of course, only few personnel are allowed here, and of course we expect the accredited media. There are talks that over 200 uh, accredited uh, media houses and journalists, uh, both within and without, and international, will be covering this particular event, and therefore a similar track there on our right, on uh, City Hall Way. So Wabera Street, City Hall Way, and Taifa Road, those are the areas that uh, the police have earmarked as no-go zones for those that will not be having anything to do here. And, um, uh, of course, uh, now at adjacent to the entrance, you can see the GSU, the Red Berets. That is a paramilitary unit, the most lethal one uh, in terms of uh, in the police service. Therefore, that explains how they are not taking chances. And Langat, if we can turn on our right, we are having two of them, I think, even with the bomb sweep there. Now those are more. So we can count at least uh, uh, from where we have, we can see six of them. And uh, this is just to a better street, city hallway, and Taifa Road. We are so sure that Harambe Avenue could be having the same. Of course, it goes without saying that is where the offices of the president and the deputy president and parliament are housed, as well as the parliament road. Therefore, it tells you how serious they are treating the issue of security here. Even uh, ourselves, we are here to pick our accreditation. We've been told they'll be coming out this afternoon, and 